What's up, man? Just bugging. Hey guys, so we're gonna take Pee Wee out on a little drive after it's completely restored. I got to drive it right before it was gonna be restored and now I get to drive it after it's done being restored. So it's like a little final victory lap as Sam said when I was talking to him at the Henry's Depot car show. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be fun. drives great man I've always loved Pee-wee it's been one of my favorite cars that we've got the chance to bring back or work on <laughs> love that horn Maureen, you're gonna be happy. <laughs> Boy, do I love some peewee. Peewee's great. I'm telling you, man, I love this Mustang right here, too. Look at this Mustang. You guys see this Mustang right here? Look at that bad boy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Peewee's ready for Maureen to enjoy. <laughs> So you're saying that's why I wasn't getting the spark? It'll jump across it. Would it ruin the condenser? Yes, it can. So it, it'd probably burn the condenser in that corner sitting there touching the base. Probably. Okay. Probably All right. Well, I don't know. I've never dealt with anything two-piece points. So that was just my question with you. You would know that more than I would. There's no instructions, I tell you. I look all over the YouTube. No instructions. Hey, here's some two-piece things. Put them together. Figure it out. <laughs> Um, what you determine on that? The band that goes over this piece, it doesn't get covered in plastic like this. It comes with a piece like this. I had to use the other piece that gives you a nut on the other side, but it goes all the way over it. Apparently the corner's touching the bottom of this, and the current's not supposed to get into the base. The current's supposed to go through this, through the condenser, and stay with a non-conductive material to keep it separate from the base. But I've never experienced dealing with that. So what are you gonna do, or just replace the condenser? Then? Yeah, I got an extra condenser. This is not pertinent right now. I already have our issue taken care of right now, but yes, I want this to be on the car. It's OG, you know. OG? Yeah, I saw Gary shake this and I didn't think about that. It could be a pinhole in there and it could be fluid in there and this is sinking. I haven't had anything that really had a 28 on it. So, like I said, it's all this PW I've ever worked on. So come to the guys that know. Isn't this really cool though? Look at this. Yeah, isn't that cool? Original Bosch. Yeah, I made sure I brought it back. There it is. And you see it says it right on the side, right there. Does it right there? The same thing that's on that package. So what it is is I just didn't realize it's drowning out. I could have taken out the condenser, but it's that just that little corner. When I was asking him, I looked at it, and you see that little corner way down there of this metal? It's touching the base. That is supposed to prevent the current from getting into the base of the of this and only go through the contact. So this metal connected to the wire is touching the base. So that's why I'm not gonna spark. Live and learn. I don't know everything, but it's like a new needle and see. Yeah, I think I must have rebuilt it about a year ago or so when we yeah. rebuilt the motor. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So you think it, this was probably sinking? It had a I pinhole. So. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's the original one. Yeah. This so it's very likely. Good, yeah. It's adjustable. Another thing is the thickness of the of, of the copper under there. Right. That raises and lowers too, but right. You can adjust it with this one. And so I could just bend this piece yeah. right here up yep. and down, and up would up shuts the fuel off quicker. Right. Okay. I think that was your problem. I think this thing. Just they seep around there. That makes sense. It's possible. I didn't think of that. Man. You could adjust this by yeah. bending this up and down. The whole right. Thing. I did see that adjusting yeah. that, but I didn't yeah. see where you could do it right in the center where yeah, it touches. You do it with this one. Yeah, I was trying to be careful. I didn't want to break that. It's probably already broken. It has a pinhole or There's some crack or something. In it. 
loading the throttle shaft is, you know, it's got a little wear in it, but look how old it is. Right, but there still shouldn't be any fuel no. in the barrel when you shut off the motor other than if it's you overflowing. Off, but she's still dripping here because the right. sink's not shutting off. Right, right. We'll take that out. Or the out. float is sinking down and leaving the needle seat open, the same thing, you know. Oh, oh damn! Look, look yeah. at that. There's a million dollars. <laughs> there it is. See, it's got bent over tabs on it. Doesn't That's have spacers in there. Same one. Yeah. That looks like the same that. one. That totally wasn't scripted. No, <laughs> a little bit. We no, just like. He oh, said, he he found said, put it. that back. Like, put that back. Here, here, Gary, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. Yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. No, I just want to see that portion get hot when you put 12 volts to it. That's all I want to see. Oh, that's it. Here. Here we go. Another one? No, I yeah. See, they all got spacers. This one don't. Like bent over tab. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's over. It means it's over, man. It says Solex on it. No Bolex here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Made in Germany. Yeah. I'm find a Reman guy buy a carburetor and sell them a stack. Oh, I, yeah, I saw that today when Michael Soros sent me someone that remands these. Yeah. And he had $30 a core. A guy in California, apparently, because I got two on the pinch. Mm -hmm. The guy that I told you about that barn fine 64 split window bus. Yeah. His carburetor is on the bench over there. Come back to somebody remand. He's in it all. Huh. There's a 25 horse if you know anybody that's looking. Oh, yeah. The one with the all never stand part of the case. Horsepower short bar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. The fuel it's pump. got that distributor on it, right? It's all that's on. like. That wide body distributor. Like a, yeah. 50s, 50s motor? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 25 yeah. horse. 25. Nice. Don't look at that. What? Can you see? You got good eyes? Is there Somewhat. a connection from that spring to that? Looks like it's busted. I mean, it's there, but it's like... Yeah, is it making it's, contact? Though? I mean, it's, it's touching. Broken. It's The spring is touching this little thingy, but it's black on the end. Right, it might here. be burnt. Yours is burnt up. Bam. Yeah, see? That's why it's not yeah. working. See? That's why it won't work. Like a toaster. Yes. That spring burns Well, this out, looks please. better than that. Okay. Well, let's so, go with this one, man. What the hell we got to lose? Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, it, <laughs> Either it don't work or it works. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think it'll we'll survive a little sandpaper on it? Yes. Good. I was hoping to get the one you already did off, but it's not. Oh, it's probably connected yeah, to it, something it is. else. It is. Yeah. It is connected. Okay, so then just a grabbing yes. one of these tabs yes. is what makes the contact. Okay. The choke goes around. All right. Got to be in that groove right there. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely different than anyone I've ever seen. Yeah, that is burnt. I've never seen this with yes. the tabs been over. This one's not burnt up. No, it's if not. If them burnt. wires are still making contact, this one's good. They're good. This yeah. one definitely is burnt up. See how black it is in there. Well, Maureen, that's why your choke doesn't work. <laughs> yep. You know, you can always put a manual choke on there. Yeah. Yeah. But that'd be a pain to put a run yeah. cable up in there. I've got a 28 manual choke carburetor on one I've found in years. Wow. Good. I got it and the governor. That's what I enjoy about going further back, is then yeah. I learn all these new things about that don't exist. This isn't in today's carburetors or the 70s. No. There was an old guy, Dave Clark. I used to buy all my parts off of. He probably have this stuff somewhere in a box in the back. Yeah. He died about 12 years ago. He was he's a good guy. Uh, yeah, it's a dying breed, man. Yes. Air cool engineers, <laughs> mechanics. So, the spring looks the best. It's the one to come out of mine. Right. Well, that one looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and mine, I set it to stay open and it just bypassed it. It went right past it. it so it expands? It yeah, expands as, as, as the 12 volts goes to it, it heats it up and then the spring turns and opens the flap okay. and when you eventually turn off the gate all of that cools down and that's why you tap your fuel pedal is to release the arm and the choke goes bling and then you right, don't right. need any do gas. that one more time bling. <laughs> and then it cranks up and runs and idles and every now and then you go and it steps down the idle no, wait wait do that one more time steps down the idle you getting that footage footage <laughs> but it's there we go so we just found out that Gary's actually working on a motor for Dana. Yeah, Dana asked me, and I told him about Gary, and I said, I'll just send you the number. And so I hooked Dana up with Gary, and motor's here. Parts are here. The parts are here. He has a refurbished 28 car, but <laughs> Gary's been so busy, he says all that stuff's here. It's just filled up in boxes. And what did he find? I and heard it was a barn find. Hmm? What did he find? I heard it was some barn find. It has 63 splitty. Oh. Yeah, and it's that color he likes turkish, turkish. <laughs> turkish. so gary helped us out oh yeah he did thanks gary
<laughs> he's busy with something selling a bug you know well you can see the element and everything the springs apparently the contacts are burnt on the ends it's not making a full connection so that's the choke and it appears that we might have one that works we're gonna have to see and then my problem with the fuel coming out the shaft is not necessarily needle valve it's brand new this is the original float and he suspects there's probably a pinhole in it or something and that that was sinking and you know and allowing it not to close the needle valve so we're gonna see i really feel confident we got it now sweet thanks to gary thank you gary appreciate it gary Hey man, so Pee Wee's all clean. The whole Just Bugging family's a little under the weather. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't get a chance to go to the SoFlo's camp out, which is tonight and this we, weekend. We don't want to turn that into a super spreader. No, <laughs> not at all. Yeah. So. But we have a sticker, our new sticker. Yeah. A new Just Bugging sticker. Check it out. And we're going to christen Pee Wee, aren't we? Oh, yes. She already has the Pee Wee over there. Yeah, the, the original. The original Pee Wee. So or the original Just right Bugging right sticker. Here. And now we got this one. Ooh la la. Perfect. I look at it. Yeah. Looks good all colorful on that side. Sweet. I just got done vacuuming it, washing it, putting tire shine on it, wiping down the motor. It's looking good. Yep, and we finally got 28 carburetor that doesn't leak. I'm very happy with it see any fuel where I was having a problem with. Yeah, now, as you guys saw previous, we went out to Gary, and Gary helped us out with the carburetor, but the thing was, is we still had an issue. Yeah, I've gone through four carburetors. The last one that I apparently had in a plastic bag. From the Berry Mini T. Yep, from Steven's Berry Mini T was the only one that actually worked. Yeah. So Sweet. all along I had one in there and I just completely forgot about it. But we do got to say thank you, Gary, for helping us out and yeah, Charlie, Charlie from Daytona Air Cool Parts. Out with those. I'll probably send those off and have one of them rebuilt. Yeah. And then whenever Pee Wee comes back, which Pee Wee's coming back at some point, of course, for the sticker. And she bought a nice and piece that goes in the back in that'll hold two six by nines. Yeah. Yeah. So. And she's getting a speaker up here. Fire suppression. Getting the emblem up there. Head. Yeah. Blaze cut. Sure looks pretty. Yeah, it does. But we're going to see her drive it away. Take it home. Beautiful. Stay tuned, guys. Pee wee. Pee -wee. Yeah. Look what she oh, got you. you. Have to get two. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's where my son was born. That's where I actually <laughs> married his mother, is in Erdy. Okay. God bless her soul. Mm -hmm. She's no longer with us. Look at Pee Wee shining. I washed Pee Wee, put spray shine on Pee Wee. Yeah, he buffed Pee Wee earlier. I vacuumed out Pee Wee. Let's see. I, I wiped down the windows. We just got done putting this on there. <laughs> I did wipe down the motor too for you. <laughs> yeah, but hey, y'all oh, have speakers. Fine. That panel stops at the back of the seat, and it, the panel just sits there. Okay. It just rests there, right on top of that carpet, and it'll be an off-white, kind of like this, like the back of the seat. It'll look real classy. Yeah, I love the one that, that both Gil and Allie has. Allie has on the yeah. '72. Okay, Pee Wee, we're ready to. And that way, no holes or anything will be drilled in your car. You got the keys for her? Yes, I do. Here you go. When that stuff starts coming in, you can bring it back. I can put your emblem on it, all that, and we'll wait for the panel. Okay. All right, take her around block.
Did I pass? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> well, how you like her? I'm close. I love it. <laughs> Leave it right in the center. Okay. And uh, this, where we were having a carburetor fuel leak is on the ends of these shafts. I don't see anything now. And then on the hood, when you want to shut the hood, get right here and I... And uh, give it a force. Yeah, give it a push right there. All right. And we're getting a cover for the wires. Yeah. Let me see you pop that thing. Oh, yeah, this is how the Germans do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're going to get a little Look, picture Kevin. in front of Pee Wee. Look, Kevin, yeah. I'm drinking your hometown brew. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, you got to slam them. There, there you go. go. They'll relax eventually. <laughs> well, I think Pee Wee's out of here. Marvel's in a mason jar. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so good in it. Yes, she does. <laughs> Goodbye! See you, Sam. Well, Pee Wee's gone. Pee Wee's gone. Oh my God, it's kind of, it's, it's a little weird. It's sad. Also. Yeah. <laughs> it's been here so long. <laughs> I mean, but 10 months, that's not long at all. No. For that transformation. Yeah. There's yeah. still some things we'll do. Yeah, there's some little oh, yeah. things to do, you know. Won't be the last time we see you. Yeah. No. But stay tuned. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Dalton. And G-Man. Thanks for watching the last Pee Wee video. Of course, stay tuned for the headliner, carpet, and vent slash door window DIY videos. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta say thank you to Gary for helping us out with the carburetor and also and the Charlie. Distributor yeah, the and points. the distributor and yeah. the points. Also, thank you, Charlie at Daytona Air Cool Parts for giving my father a 28 and a 30 pick carb. And yeah, I was actually gonna run them out to Groveland, the carburetors out there to Jerry and Groveland. Very knowledgeable. We guy saw a Bug Jam. We met him at Bug Jam and had a good conversation with him. So I was boxing them all up and working on something else, and I ran into a carburetor in a Ziploc bag that I forgot I had from an old build. It was a 28 picked one and just pulled it right out of the plastic bag, bolted it on Pee Wee and bam, no leaky leaky. She was good to go. Got to turn it over to Maureen just in time for her birthday. Yeah, we hope you had an amazing time, Maureen, and of course Sam on her birthday. Mm -hmm. Chilling with all the family and friends as you guys saw with that great picture. Thank you for those pictures, by the way. Yeah, Pee Wee will definitely be back as you guys see, but one thing that G-Man's always told me here, my father, is if you have any parts laying around, make yeah, something happen see, with what you got. Happen, you know, yeah. and I did. Yeah, so, you, did. you know, I was trying to get a hold of Volks bits, but I see that they're very backed up like seven months, you know. But still, check him out. We yeah, hear yeah. he's the man, he's the man, yeah. Mm -hmm. From what we hear, and we're referred by Go Michael on. Shores, Type 4 Jeff, Type 4 Jeff. So, yeah. one day to get to in touch with him, but he's so busy, so yeah. And also, if you guys remember that yellow VW thing, remember my father is a mobiles repair mechanic for VWs. Yes. He happened to go over there to inspect it for a lady that was out of state that was living in Chicago. 
Saga and wanted to purchase it and she so happened to purchase it and went to Dirty Rides and Dirty Rides worked on it. And yeah guys, stay tuned for the end of this video to see some progress. A snippet of uh, what Jeremy did to it over at Dirty Rides. Yeah, so turned it over to Jackie. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. But yeah guys, thanks for watching the last Pee Wee video. If you love it, definitely show it some love. Thanks for all the love from the Henry's video. Sorry for the delay on this one, but I can't believe that video is doing so well. That was a well. great show. Yeah, great turnout for the weather that was there. Everyone just got out there and had a good time. Yeah, and thank you everybody for sharing it and giving it some love. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just bugging of a day. And keep on bugging. What's up guys? Jeremy from Dirty Rides. So Jackie's picking up her VW thing today. I will be shooting you guys a really good video of the progress and the job that we did and some still pictures and things like that. But just wanted to give you a quick little blurb. A couple little things that still need to be done on it in the future, but for right now, we are good. So big shout out to the Thing Shop. Their brake kit was amazing. Complete brake kit, CV shafts, the whole nine yards.